Okay, hello and welcome to the very first episode of Jezebel's Chunk. I've decided I wanted to start doing craft videos, so this is what I'm doing. I've been doing a YouTube of reading books and it's got to be very proper and exact and theatrical and I'm looking forward to this channel kind of being more of a fun outlet and being able to be laid back and make mistakes and say the F word and just kind of not have to worry. So I made these llamas the other day. Um, they are from uh, web page I will link it below so you can see um, how to do it from the original place and they've got a printable there um, that you can print out so just so you know this is not my idea at all and hopefully this won't take too super long because I don't know how to edit videos and not even gonna try so you are gonna go to this web page you're gonna print these llamas out some of them have these little um, markings on them, a little more decoration. Are we going to focus? No, we're not. Okay. And then some of them are naked, but not for long. So let's see. First of all, I'm just going to cut this one out. I really love llamas. I'm kind of obsessed. One day, hopefully, uh, we'll have a farm or a ranch and I will have some llamas and lots of other animals and things. But until that day, I'm just going to make a bunch of little llama bobbins because it's really fun. Okay, you gotta be really careful around the ears there. These scissors, I got these at Walmart. These are so awesome, I love them. They make it so easy to cut. I actually just did something earlier with these other scissors because I was too lazy to walk across the room and grab these ones. And I was just like, oh my God, this is terrible. It's like flowers for Algernon. You cannot go back to the crappy scissors ever again. So yeah, definitely upgrade your scissors if possible. You won't regret it. Because, you know, you don't want to risk cutting off a little llama ear or a little llama foot. That would be just tragic. Okay. I'm really hoping these parts don't get too tedious for you. Eventually, I'm sure I'm going to have to learn how to edit videos and things but uh, that day is not today okay oh whoops I finished cutting those ears all right now once you've got him cut out I'm gonna put him on some cardboard it's just a random scrap of cardboard I had and you're gonna trace him out. Now, I did try a couple different methods for this. I tried to just glue him right onto the cardboard and then cut around it. And that just proved to be like way too much of a pain in the ass to cut through both the cardboard and the cardstock. By the way, this is this is just cardstock that I printed out. <clears throat> so you can, um, technically, as the article where I got these from, you can technically just use the cardstock. You don't have to glue it onto the cardboard. But I think it's a lot better with the cardboard. It's a lot more sturdy. And it's just, it's a lot cuter. You know, you can make the llamas walk around that way and you don't have to uh, chance the ends getting bent or anything like that. So... It's just a little extra step that uh, it's not too, too much of a hassle. And it's just a little thing that kind of makes it be a lot more professional looking. Okay. So, we've got our little guy traced there. And now we're going to cut it out. And I like to try to get, like, right on the pencil mark as much as you can. So there's not too much edge around once you glue them together. Oh, 
gosh, I did that really light right there. I can hardly see it. And, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect because even if you make little mistakes or go off of the line, once you glue the other little guy on top, it's really not going to be that noticeable because he's got these nice bold lines on the side. And uh, it's really kind of one of those forgiving projects. Oh, the cardboard I was using yesterday was a lot thinner than this. So still kind of feel like these scissors will be better than big ones because they're more precise although some bigger ones probably would cut through the cardboard easier I feel like they're not gonna get the curves and stuff quite as accurately as I want it so I'm gonna stick with my fancy ones here uh. Yeah, and like this is like the most tedious part to me is the cutting and the tracing. And then the next parts are going to be a lot more fun. So bear with me here. My hand is like already sore from yesterday because I made like six of these babies. I am sending in happy mail to my lovely ladies in my Facebook art journal group. There we go. Okay, yes. Sorry, is this boring you yet? Probably. This is one of those things that would look really cool if I sped it up. <laughs> Maybe that'll happen one day. This is the low budget YouTube channel. You want to see some fancy videos, you're probably going to want to go somewhere else. But let me tell you, I like to do things low budget and I have a lot of things saved away that I think, oh, that'll make a good art project one day. Some people might call it hoarding. You can call it what you want. I call it arting. So, there we go. We got our little guy already. As you can see, it's not perfect at all. But, this glue, which the lovely Chris Anthony told me about. Oh, I just do not want to focus. No? There we go. This glue is really good, actually. I like it a lot. So you just want to get your glue spread out all over and make sure you get it real good on the feet and the legs because those ends are going to try to curl up if you're not careful. And try not to get glue all over your finger, which I'm not usually successful at at all. I'm a very messy crafter. Okay. I'm just going to stick him right down on there. Kind of try to squish him around so he's lined up right. And there you go. Not too bad. Now usually I will stick some clothespins on here. And just kind of hold it down and let it dry for a while. And like start my next one. But I'm just going to go ahead and move along for today. So, as you can see, this one has the little lines and markings on him. I'm just going to kind of try to draw some fur with my paint pen here. Um, the article says to use a gel pen. I don't have a white gel pen, so I'm making do with this for now. But um, I think it looks just fine, actually. And the white makes for a really nice contrast the hex up of my pen there. I feel like the white uh, yeah, makes a nice contrast against the cardstock. But you are going to have to do a couple layers if you're using a paint pen like this. Because that doesn't really show up the first time. Oh no. Hmm. Live TV everyone. I don't know what's up with my paint pen. That's Walmart for you. It's hit or miss. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Okay. And the 
there's his little fur. And then the last thing you do is you take your yarn, or you can use thread, or this is embroidery floss, of course, but you can use like a heavier weight yarn. You can use whatever you want. Um, I'm actually making these to send samples of floss and some happy mail. But, um, you know, you could do like your entire floss collection in this. I, I, I think I might end up doing it because they're so cute when they're all together and like stacked up. So, um, then you just kind of wind it up like you would a regular bobbin. Of course, I'm going to have tangle problems. <laughs> I really got like the neatest floss I had in my box too. <laughs> but of course, it's going to be difficult. There you go. Just wind him up. And pretty soon, your little llama friend is wearing a nice little sweater. This wasn't really enough floss, but uh, there you go. And then you just kind of want to tuck it in the back so it'll stay. And there you go. Do, 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 do. What kind of sound does a llama make? I'm not sure, or I'd make a llama sound right now. But I just think they're so adorable. And as you can see, they stack quite nicely. If you had like a little box with all your little floss collection, you could just kind of leaf through and, or you know, you could make a little llama herd. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching and hopefully you'll be back again watching me make crazy crafts. Thank you.